Hi guys, so how are you today? So I found this question. This guy has collision issue when using rotate around the point. Uh, rotate around point. So let's do something for him. So what I'll do, uh, let's take a new level. And in case if you don't, uh, if you want an alternative of the rotating particle on a circular form, I have this video three days back vortex velocity removes so i have also covered the uh, rotate around point in this video and how we can achieve that effect using other things so you can watch this so let's let's use this to fix collision also so you have this new label and i'll just delete this and clean and i'll just take a new cube put it on zero let's move it little up Make the light little darker so we can see particles properly. Okay, so I'll just create a new Niagara here. I'll just take empty effects and then here I will add a fountain and compile. So basically, if I delete this velocity uh, shape and gravity and take here rotate around point and make the radius maybe 100 and rate one so particle rotating let's make it red so we can see it properly in the viewport all right cool so if i just drag it in the viewport and if i move it will not go with it because it is not local and it's just taking that position you can solve it here but you can make it this local so it will move to that point right and we don't have any collision right now so let's take a collision here after the rotate around point and i leave the settings default it has a bounce it has friction and see nothing is happening it's not colliding anymore. and the reason being is because the rotate around point works on particle position not physical force or or velocity so what you can do, you can remove it and you can take another thing about that force just to show you how if collision is working. So you have this, but for that, let's take a shape here and I will take the torus. So we have these particles rotating around and now these are also colliding. So let me just make this zero and make the particle a little. So more. So you can see the collision is working because this vortex force, if I see what it writes, it writes physics force. So it works on physics force. And if I turn this off, turn the rotate around point, let me turn this off and see what it writes. It writes positions. So that's why. So still, if you want to use rotate around the point with collision, what you can do, just turn this off, set particle position. It is still doing all the calculation, but it is not setting your particle position. It's not like applying on that. So what you can do now, type here, uh, let me just make some space and type here velocity and drag it here. And then here in the velocity, I'll type here rotate. When you type rotate, so it will see you all the parameters and I'll use this output position and connect it here. And now you have that ring and you can increase that ring radius. Cool. And now it will rotate. It will collide. See, it's colliding. So still, if you want to use rotate round point, you can do this. And you can also add parameter, you can multi use multiplier and all things. So you can do that. Cool. So I hope this is what you want. And if you want exact same thing I did here with the velocity, I'll do that again quickly. So if you don't want to use it, I'll just delete this. I'll just delete this. I'll take the force. I'll take the shape. And after force, I'll take the scale velocity. And after the scale velocity, I'll just go here and type here 
uh, I'll type here physical force and then multiply this physical force with it. So now let me decrease the particle rate. And now with this physical force, you can increase the speed. And you can also use little bit of pull. The particle will stay there. And now this will also collide. Uh, collision should be after that. So these all things should be here. Light will come by. Yeah, it's colliding actually here. You can see particles are stopping. I'll have to increase a little bit more particles. And because they are not spreading, you can see they are colliding with it. Cool. So if you want this, you can also do that. If I just turn this off like uh, this pull, they will scatter a little bit. So now you can see the collision properly. there so you can use anyways so i hope this is clear uh rotate around the point with collision how you can use that thanks for watching keep learning bye bye